What is good, everybody? Today, we are reviewing the WWE Ultimate Edition Series 22 Gunther figure. Now, we are still beachside for these reviews for now, but this is not our Ultimate Edition figure that I was really looking forward to, man. Not really looking forward to this one. We discussed it in the images multiple times over. I was not big on the formula used. I thought that he looked very weird and awkward. We're going to dive into the figure today to find out if that, in fact, still remains after we saw the images initially. You do get pretty much the standard amount of accessories with this Ultimate Edition, and it looks pretty good here. If you guys want to grab this figure, it is available right now at Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. But bringing up the Gunther figure here, we do have a little bit of sunlight poking through. So we do have, you know, a, a good a bit of lighting coming through here. It is like 6 a.m. or something like that on the East Coast or on the, I guess you would call it the Gulf Coast, you should say. But here we have the Gunther figure looking pretty good here. You can see the interchangeable head sculpts and everything like that. Standard Ultimate Edition mainline packaging. Got a shot of the handsome man right there. And then on the back, we do get a shot of the figure. That is a prototype head sculpt. They always put the prototype head sculpt on the back of the promo shots. And then we have an image of Gunther there. Ultimate Edition, all the good bio reads there. If you guys want to read it, you can pause it right now. Got Gunther on the side as always, and that is pretty much our packaging for this figure. However, man, I am, again, not very much looking forward to this figure. So we'll have to see how it all stands when we get into it, of course. But not my favorite gear, not my favorite formula. Let's shut the hell up. Let's crack him out of the packaging, find out if he's any good, and we'll see how he compares to the rest of our Gunther action figures in our collections. So here we have Gunther out of the packaging, man, spinning around as they do in the reviews. And I gotta say, you know, I do like some aspects of this figure so far that we're getting into, man, but I still don't think I'm quite a fan yet, man. Maybe it'll change throughout the review. You never know. We have to break down all the details. We'll have to get into the figure's accessories, break down the figure itself. But I don't know, man. There's just something about it. I don't know. You can let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. We are gonna do some comparisons, of course, but not even my favorite gear. I'm not really a big fan of this gear either, and it's kind of weird because on the back of the packaging it looks a little bit maroon and then in the figure's execution it's more of a you know sort of a chocolate color or more of a brownish color so i don't know we'll have to see how it goes through as we get into it man but nonetheless let's shut the hell up let's get into the accessories you get with gunther and then we'll dive into the gunther ultimate edition figure itself all right, so getting into Gunther's accessories, you get about the standard amount of accessories that you would get with any particular WWE Ultimate Edition. You get the cloth goods, get the interchangeable heads, and you actually get a championship with this guy. Now, in terms of the jacket, this is a jacket or a coat that we have seen multiple times over. I don't know if it's the exact same, but it's definitely the same style. We saw it with the ringside exclusive Walter figure. We saw it with the Elite 102 Gunther, and it is very nice. I mean, any cloth goods, you, you guys will never hear it from me. I'm not going to complain about cloth goods ever. They do have this nice triangle pieces right here. They kind of have like a pleathery style feel there, but he does have the border around the neck right there, which is also nice. But it fits the figure really well, as you guys saw. It does look good. It definitely looks good. I do appreciate that. Gear choice isn't my favorite. You know, I will say that. On the back of the packaging, like I said, kind of looks a bit maroon, but here it looks definitely a lot more brown in person. It kind of reminds me of like a Texas A&M red, I guess you could say, which is a real deep maroon. Again, we have seen multiples of these on multiple Gunther figures already, but you have the dots on there. It would be cool one day to not get dots or whatever that uh, to actually have buttons on there would be crazy kind of like an ultimate edition doink situation or something like that but it's still cool i'm glad they included it you gotta have the entrance guard without the entrance rope this figure would be really really plain so i'm glad that they included this here it looks good on the figure and all those things now outside of that we do get an intercontinental championship and this time it does have the gunther side plates which is always nice we have seen this on a battle pack or two already so we are getting another one it is the shiny version though so if you pick up the championship showdown for version i'm pretty sure it does have the flat look or the matte look or whatever so there's that you definitely get the intercontinental title which is always good you know he's the greatest reigning intercontinental champion of all time so you got to have the intercontinental title in there and they they included it i wouldn't be shocked if there's another gunther elite or something coming that that included this as well so we'll have to see about that and then for his interchangeable heads you do get the straight face here that we did see on his elite 102 but it is a really good head sculpt so i don't really care that they repeated here i think it looks really damn good so i don't have any issues with that whatsoever i think this is a good execution of gunther here with the straight pissed off face and then we do have two brand new heads Head sculpts and this head sculpt reminds me of that old throwback John Cena basic where he's kind of gritting his teeth and he looked a bit weird but this looks a lot more like Gunther than that head sculpt looked like John Cena if that makes sense this one is not bad whatsoever I kind of I like it I dig this you know he looks pissed off he looks like he's angry I think it works I think this does have enough likeness to Gunther not the best or my favorite head sculpt of all time but I certainly like it I think it does get the job done and all those things so it's a pretty solid head sculpt I like the execution of this one and last but not least the one that I think is the best is going to be the yelling head sculpt. I do like the yelling head sculpt a bit. 
It does look like it has a little bit more likeness than this one over here, and I like it. I like the yelling head sculpt. Again, I always say this. You know, people say that I complain about the yelling head sculpt. Well, I'm not complaining about the yelling head sculpt. I just want options. So having a pissed off straight head sculpt, having a gritting head sculpt like this, and having a yelling is right on the money for me. I want my figures to be expressive. I want them to come to life, if you will. So having this screaming expression is really good. So I like all three of the head sculpts. I think they did a great job on the head sculpts. Honestly, probably my favorite part of the entire figure. And then for interchange hands we do get the world going around mic holding hands or weapon wielding style hands here so you can do whatever you want to there to hold stuff he also has to come with his chop hands or his knife edge chop hands here you have to have your knife edge chop hands especially when you're referring to gunther but it is the ricochet Kawhi leonard style mold that we've come to know and you can use this to absolutely slap and knife edge chop the hell out of people and you guys know last but not least they have to include fists and Gunther, you know, he does use the knife edge chops probably a little bit more than the fist, but you got to have the fist to beat the hell out of people. So we did get fisted hands with our Gunther figure, but that pretty much wraps up the last of his accessories. So taking a look at Gunther at the start of the head sculpt, man, we've already seen this head sculpt before, like I mentioned, and it is the Elite 102. But going down into the torso, which is probably where my biggest gripes come in, I just am not a fan of the way he looks. It's just kind of a weird looking. If you bring in the Elite 102 Gunther and you just kind of compare the two right here, I just am not, like, I understand that he may look a little bit leaner or whatever you want to say, but the chest, and even at this angle, doesn't look as bad as it looks at other angles. I think it looks a lot worse when you zoom out. If you look in here, I just like the... I don't know, I like the formula of the Elite better than the Ultimate Edition. I do like the addition of the butterfly joints or whatever, but I will say that I think I like the Elite better. At this juncture, I do like the Elite better, but you are having this new torso mold in here for Gunther. He does have smaller shoulders, he's got smaller arms, which probably could suffice for Gunther. I'm not saying that this formula just looks the worst of all time, but I will say that I just don't like the way it looks. But I think it's when you combine the torso with the legs is where you really get into issues. If we go down, he's just got the standard arms in there. You do have this chocolate maroon style color here with the white outlines. Nothing on the tights, very plain Jane, nothing going on there. Pretty crazy, kind of Texas A&M looking is what I would call. I'm gonna call it the Texas A&M Gunther right here, but the legs or what look kind of awkward to me. They just look straight flat, man. They have no definition in them whatsoever. And then they connect to the knee. And they just look weird right there. I don't know what it is to me personally. That's just what looks off to me. And if you bring in the Elite 102 so we can compare again. Notice obviously that the Elite has kind of, you know, it has muscular definition and the Ultimate Edition just has nothing whatsoever. And you may say that this is more accurate, but it just looks weird aesthetically. Aesthetically, it looks weird. Even if they just cut in a little bit of details of some kind, I think it would have helped it. But in this case, it just looks awkward to me. I don't know. You can let me know what you think. I know a lot of people are on the Ultimate Train, which is fine, but for me personally, I think I like the Elite a lot more. But there is the knees, and it goes down into the socks right there. He is on pinless legs, and he does have the tall brown boots with the white laces, which do look clean. He's got the toe articulation in there, nice boots in there. It's not that it's just the worst thing of all time. I just don't think that it looks aesthetically pleasing to the eye when you get into this leg area right here. That is pretty much your Gunther figure. Let's get into some comparisons so you can see from afar, and then we'll look at we'll take a look at all of our Gunthers and Walters, and then we'll take a look at what they look like with their robes on as well, or their jackets. But before we do that, let's go ahead and get into some articulation. Now, he can look down a pretty decent amount. He is on a ball joint, no ball hinge, obviously, but he can actually look up and down pretty good. I don't know if that's the way they sculpted it on the inside, but you get some head tilt in there. You can look up pretty good it's kind of crazy and i push that on all the way that is pushed down all the way so there is that diaphragm is okay it's kind of just your standard ultimate edition you know you get the full rotation right there butterfly joints is pretty good and come all the way across which is good for you know just chopping the hell out of people so that's good but you do get the full rotation there you get bicep swivel you do get the double joint arm a little bit stiff because it's pinless but not too bad there he does have the wrist hinge of course you do get the waist swivel there he can do the splits and he can drop down so he can drop down there and you can get that really big uh i don't know about big boot per se i guess you could like lean this back and kind of get up there but it's not, you know, the drop-down hips are kind of weird, and they get kind of loose, and they make me feel like I'm going to snap the figure in, at any given moment. But it's definitely worth mentioning that you can get some pretty good articulation in there. But he can do a double-jointed knee, which is good. You get the boot swivel, you get the toe articulation, and the feet can go down and up there. And it, it's pretty good. Not, not too bad on articulation, but I don't think... Ultimate Editions never really hinder articulation in, in terms of anything besides maybe a diaphragm. You know, the, the ab crunch isn't the greatest of all time, but 
Let's bring in some other figures and we'll get into some Gunther figure comparisons. So for your Gunther figure comparisons, here's the Elite 102 up next to the Ultimate Edition. And then you have the ringside exclusive Walter on the right side. And you can see the differences in formula. This guy has three completely different formulas. I don't think there's actually a single part reused here besides the boots on these two guys. And then maybe the standard front part here. Obviously, he has Ultimate Edition toes. So these toes don't share the same. But I think all three of these share the same boot mold. But outside of that, it seems to be a brand new thing. I mean, this is guys on a completely completely different formula new different shoulders he's got the Lou Harper style arms which are always goaded you have some great things going on here but I don't know man I just think that the flatness of the legs look a bit weird in person for the ultimate edition and I like the elite 102 more but maybe you feel differently and if you don't like the arm size over here you could easily switch out the arms on the elite or you could switch out possibly the legs with something else but I just like the elite better man I don't know that's just my case here but Let's take a look at what they look like with their robes on. And so here's all three Gunthers or Walters, whatever you want to say. Two Gunthers and a Walter, whatever the hell you want to say there. All three of them in their entrance robe. And I will say, I think with the entrance robe, the, the Ultimate Edition probably does look a little bit better in my opinion. You know, the Walter, you can't really judge. I mean, it was a completely different time. The man has lost a considerable amount of weight. And they even constructed this brand new torso over here because he lost all that weight. So that's what's even crazier. And he got a brand new Ultimate Edition torso. So they're definitely doing favors for Gunther over there, making him look very good and they've done a pretty solid job i'd say from you know his first figure to his basics to his elites to his ultimates i don't know i'm just not personally a fan of the formula they chose for this ultimate edition i think it could use some more definition and you know that's just where i feel on it but I want to know what you guys think down in the comment section below about it, but this is what they all look like with their entrance robes, and at least we do get entrance robes or jackets with all of them, so that way, you know, you can cover up that body, and you can, you know, make for a really cool entrance, so that is cool for the Gunther figures, man, but I think that pretty much wraps up our Gunther action figure comparisons. But I think that about wraps it up for our WWE Ultimate Edition Series 22 Gunther figure review. At the end of the day, man, I would pass. I can say it without a doubt. I think I would pass. I know that I like the addition of butterfly joints, you know, compared to an Elite figure. But in this case, the Elite 102 Gunther is so good and the gear's better and just everything about that figure to me personally is better. I would pick up the Elite 102 Gunther over this Ultimate Edition Gunther. I just don't care for the formula. I think the torso looks a bit weird. I think the legs look a bit weird. They look very flat. There's not very much dimension there. And I have so much fun posing around the Elite 102 that I would prefer that over this one right here. I know that certain people are going to want the Ultimate Edition over the Elite. And I completely understand what you're saying there. But at the end of the day, you still get the entrance coat or, you know, entrance jacket with the Elite 102. You could always throw on an Intercontinental Champion Championship. You could pick up, you could probably get this Intercontinental Championship with Gunther side plates. You have the Championship Showdown pack with Rey Mysterio, or isn't there another one? I think there may be two different packs, but I know for a fact you can get the Gunther Intercontinental Championship, and you could get that Intercontinental Championship on multiple figures, even if it doesn't have the Gunther side plates. I know a lot of you don't even like the side plates anyway, so there's that. But I would pick up the Elite 102 Gunther over this Ultimate Edition. I just don't really care for the aesthetics of the figure. I think there are good aspects to it. I like the robe. I like that it comes with the Intercontinental Championship. And I like some of the head sculpts. I don't think they're perfect execution, but I do like some of the head sculpts. I think that they could, you know, they could suffice. They could pass, I think. So you do have that. But at the end of the day, I'm going with the Elite 102 over the Ultimate Edition. But you can let me know what you think of that down in the comments section below. But I would pass on the Ultimate Edition personally or wait on a different Ultimate Edition Gunther that will probably, you know, inevitably probably come out at some point. But in terms of Ultimate versus Elite, I think the Elite 102 in this case does win the battle. I think the head-to-head -head battle, you can let me know down in the comment section below. But, you know, I, I really wish this would have been his Black Gear too. Not that, you know, a Black Gear could be very boring. It can be very plain Jane. But at the end of the day, in this instance, I just, I don't really care for this gear. I don't really care for the formula. I don't know. I just think that this figure could have been executed much better. And for those reasons, I'm out. In all seriousness, though, if you guys want this figure, you can pick it up at Ringside Collectibles. Use promo code MDTOYS to save yourselves 10%. Go over there. Use code MDTOYS. I greatly appreciate it. But you can go grab your Gunther figure as well as many others. I don't even know if it's in stock. You'll have to check on that. But I'm getting the hell out of here, guys. Hope you guys did enjoy. Huge shout out to our Patreon members of the MDT YouTube channel. Appreciate all those fellas over there, man. Thank you guys so very much for your continued support. As always, thank you guys so very much. But I'm getting the hell out of here, man. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys. I'll see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you guys later.